Okay, today we've got Mike Mulvihill here from MDE. He is the Director of Career and Technical Education, um, and so he's here to talk to us about a new program, a software program, um, to promote career readiness in some schools around Northeast Mississippi. So, Mike, thanks for being here. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. Yeah. So, um, so this program is it's it's a software program, kind of an initiative to get these high schools um, to get their students thinking about their careers, to get them planning and ready. It helps students with career exploration, what mm-hmm. jobs are out there, what might you be interested in, <clears throat> soft skills, how do you relate to people, what are your communication skills, You know, how do you uh, work-based learning types of things. Uh, there is the ACT prep course for the college, uh, college test, and then another test called ACT Work Keys, which measures reading for information, locating information, and applied math. Mathematics. And so those are areas that will help any student when they get ready to go into the workforce because we do expect every student at some point in time to have a job and a career. Right. And so um, this, this software is being funded by the Toyota USA Foundation. Um, and then the focus on Northeast Mississippi is because of the Toyota plant in Blue Springs. Um, and like you said earlier, you know, hopefully this is something we can expand to the rest of the state. Um, but for now, just focusing it here. So the schools that that will be um, using it are Saltillo High School, uh, New Albany High School, Pontotoc High School, and North Pontotoc High School. Yes. All right. And so actually we have Lance Evans here, who is the principal of New Albany High School. High School. Hey, Lance. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Doing well. We've also got John Farrell here with us, career technical director. Hey, John. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Doing great. Thanks for joining us. Anytime. Okay, so on y'all's end of this, what is this, um, you know, what's the significance of having this software program to share with your students, and, and what do you hope that it does for them? Well, at, at the Korean Technical Center, what we're planning on doing this upcoming year with it is to, um, the work keys component that Mr. Mobile Hill was talking about that's in the software, we're planning on um, devoting a certain amount of time per week to prepare our students uh, for the work keys test. With the way the world has evolved, to where we are now, things are very specialized. Uh, that in, And in the past, there was a, a huge focus on college readiness. But what we found is we were leaving a, a, you know, over 70% of our students uh, out in that focus. The work keys uh, component also, it, it'll focus on those soft skills. And as we've talked to the employers in our area, and as well as dealing with Toyota and other larger employers, those soft skills are the things that we're finding that a lot of our students and students in our state are lacking. Uh, another component that the software has is it's a career planning piece as well. So that, uh, say for example, a student wanted to uh, explore a certain career option, it'll also let the students know the type of education they would have to have, the, the potential uh, the potential salary they would earn, uh, d- depending on the part of the country that they're in. So we're excited about that because we feel like our students are getting a lot out of it. Our counselors are also very involved in it as well. Okay, so and with the soft skills, how um, how does that how is that going to work? Learning soft skills through a software package. How does that work? All right. So in, in each one of these. Um, software packages that the schools will be using, there'll be different components in there. So we'll talk about uh, interview skills. So let's start with that. One of the things that it'll do is it'll outline the things that the student really needs to know, but then it'll also have exercises built in there that they can model and they can practice. So for example, what you could do is practice some of these things internally and you could have like a local human resource person come in and then actually do an interview. So it gives them an opportunity to absorb some of the concepts and then do some modeling, some practicing on their Mm -hmm. own and then build from there. So you'll break this into different areas. And so by utilizing the software, it actually helps structure the process instead of, well, maybe today I'm going to do a little interviewing and maybe two weeks from now I'll do some communication. It'll give you some timelines and some outlines on how to use that. So the software is going to be really good in that area because it gives the instructor, they don't have to pull things together. It's outlined with best practices there, and then students can utilize that in practice over and over and over. Great. Okay. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for being here. Okay, enjoyed it.